So hello guys, this is Alethea, and I'm going to share with you my making of Simplicity S9739. It's a super different pattern. It has one main pattern piece. I, I have made this pattern before, and it came out great. Very easy pattern. If you're looking for a starter pattern, this is number two starter pattern. I mentioned a starter pattern in my last video, so I hope you picked up on that. So here are the line drawings on the back. You actually have the shorter version and the longer version. I am going to sew view A. It's the shorter version. It has a pocket. So I, I have prepared my fabric, laid it out, and we are doing the cross grain, the cross fold, cross wide fold layout, which means your savages are on the end. And the cross wise fold is not your grain line is not parallel to your savage. So let's begin. I'm going to begin with pinning my fabric, my um, pattern pieces to the fabric. Now, so what you're actually looking at is the main pattern piece, that one large pattern piece and it's the body of the dress. And only thing is left as far as the patterns are concerned is your facings, your straps, your um, shoulder straps and, and your waist straps and pocket. So that's why this is such an easy pattern. It's just curves and straight lines and notches, no buttons, no zippers. I have I have the largest piece pent down, so we're gonna cut this piece out and continue with the rest of the pattern. Okay, let's begin. Again, I'm doing dress A. I'm sewing dress A. And the first thing the instruction tells us to do is make the dots around the armhole in front and back and it proceeds to tell you how to make the dots and how to prevent a bubble at the end which is a no point dot okay so step two is the same thing making your dots and I'm just gonna sew all the dots at one time and move on to the next area, which would be the pocket. Then your straps. And after the straps, straps is the facing. As you can see, I have finished, completed sewing my dots and pressed them. So all the threads will be great and press them in the direction that they said on either side to the center back. Number, now, now for number two, step number two, this large dot on the left side it has an angle to it. And this is how they want you to deal with it.
and then you have to clip them. Make sure you press all your dots along the stitch line to blend the stitches and then press dot down. Now on the left side of your garment, there are two circles. You're gonna sew from the top to the circle, back stitch, and continue from the second circle, back stitch until the end. Then they're asking you to cut the middle portion of the dot so it can lay flat. Illustration of what they're talking about, the two dots at the front, you mm -hmm. cut it from the outside without the straps on, shoulder straps. So now I have opened up the, the two large dots on my dress. And on the left side, remember, we had to leave that opening for the belt loop. And there is the belt, the hole for the belt loop. And you had to open the seam. So I just opened my seams as far as it could go so the seams would lay flat. As you can see, just by adding those dots, the dress is beginning to take on some some form i mean the dots the dots give form and and contours the garment it gives shaping to your construction of your garment just with the dots and this is how it's looking on the outside So next we're dealing with the pocket. They want us to, the instruction says to stitch on you a quarter of an inch on upper edge of pocket. Turn upper edge to outside along fold on the pocket, forming a facing. Stitch along seam line on all raw edges. Trim seam lines and facing area to one fourth. Turn facing to inside and slip stitch facing in place. There. So I have stitched under a quarter of an inch of my pocket. And I also sew five eighths of an inch around perimeter of the pocket. Now the directions are asking to trim seam lines in facing area to a quarter of an inch. So I've already marked that and just trim it from here up just like it's circled and highlighted. So this is how the pocket is looking after you clip the facing area only. And this is how it's looking after you turn the pocket inside like they ask you to do. There it forms the shape of your pocket. Next we have to press the pocket, slip stitch across the edges of the pocket, turn it over. This creates your pocket. And after we do the slip stitching, we have to place the pocket on the dress. And top stitch. Then next will be the tie ends and then for the facing and with the inner facing there to give it some structure and some stability. We'll see. So I have pressed my pocket. 
and turn the face in this out. Make sure you get your corners pointed out real well. I have to uh, slip stitch and then place the pocket on the dress and top stitch um, three quarters of an inch. Let's do that. Okay, I have completed my pocket and I've attached it to the front of the dress and top stitch at three eighths of an inch seam allowed. So next we're moving on to the tie ends. So as you can see, I have put the facing on the dress, the, the straps, the ties, pocket, and I did not hem. I did not hem the bottom. I want it to be like that, the end of the material. And this is how she's looking. Red bandana material. This is the back. With the wife beetle. And she's done. Thank you for watching. Join me again as I present a little sew along. An easy, simple pattern for you to follow along in it. And again, that was, that was S9739, a super different pattern, one pattern piece, 1970 inches. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Easy breezy.